Good morning, it's Monday the 25th of May as we continue in the season of Thy Kingdom Come. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and clothe us with power from on high. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Creator God, to you be praise and glory forever. As your Spirit moved over the face of the waters, Bring in light and life to all creation. Pour out your spirit on us today, that we may walk as children of light, and by your grace reveal your presence. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalm today is Psalm 93. The Lord is King and has put on glorious apparel. The Lord has put on his glory and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Your throne has been established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their pounding waves. Mightier than the thunder of many waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea, the Lord on high is mightier. Your testimonies are very sure. Holiness adorns your house, O Lord, for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of Ezekiel. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations, and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. A new heart I will give you, and put a new spirit within you. I will remove from your body the heart of stone, and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. Our reading is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 7, beginning at verse 36. One of the Pharisees asked Jesus to eat with him, and he went into the Pharisee's house and took his place at the table. And a woman in the city who was a sinner, having learned that he was eating in the Pharisee's house, bought an alabaster jar of ointment. She stood behind him at his feet, weeping, and began to bathe his feet with her tears and to dry them with her hair. Then she continued kissing his feet and anointing them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw it, he said to himself, If this man were a prophet, he would have known who and what kind of woman this is who is touching him, that she is a sinner. Jesus spoke up and said to him, Simon, I have something to say to you. Teacher, he replied, speak. A certain creditor had two debtors. One of them owed 500 denarii and the other 50. When they could not pay, he cancelled the debts for both of them. Now which of them will you love the more? Simon answered, I suppose the one for whom he cancelled the greater debt. And Jesus said to him, you have judged rightly. Then turning towards the woman, he said to Simon, do you see this woman? I entered your house, you gave me no water for my feet, but she has bathed my feet with tears and dried them with her hair. You gave me no kiss, but from the time I came in she has not stopped kissing my feet. You did not anoint my head with oil, but she has anointed my feet with ointment. Therefore I tell you, her sins, which are many, have been forgiven, hence she has shown great love. But the one to whom little is forgiven loves little. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. But those who were at table with him began to say among themselves, 
Who is this who even forgives sins? And he said to the woman, Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. Here ends the reading. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. All who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people. Renew the face of your creation, Lord, pouring on us the gifts of your Spirit and kindle in us the fire of your love. For the creation waits with eager longing for the glorious liberty of the children of God. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your people and kindle in us the fire of your love. The Song of Christ's Glory At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Christ Jesus was in the form of God, but he did not cling to equality with God. He emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. Being found in human form, he humbled himself, and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. So let us pray. Loss and bereavement take lots of forms. The death of a loved one, the loss of a job, ill health, financial difficulty. In a moment's silence, bring your losses before God, knowing that he loves you and he understands your grief. Father, we pray today for those who have lost loved ones, especially those who are recently bereaved. We pray for those who have lost people to the virus and we also pray for those who have been separated from their loved ones at the end of their lives. Father, we ask today that they would know your presence and your peace at this difficult time. Father, we pray for those whose anniversary of death falls around this time. And Lord, we ask that you would be with all those who grieve today. Father, we pray for your help and wisdom for all those who are involved in the bereavement services. We pray for our funeral directors, for our crematorium staff, for those ministers of religion leading services. And we pray for the voluntary services who work in this area. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us, and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen. 
Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.